Welcome back everyone. 706 is the time. Stargazers are in luck this morning. Venus is taking center stage. It's the third brightest object in the sky just after the sun and the moon, of course, and soon NASA will visit the planet for the first time in decades. KXAN senior science reporter Eric Hendrickson takes a closer look at the mission. Venus, the second planet from the sun, named for the goddess of love. So we sometimes call Venus Earth's evil twin. While the planets are similar in size, it's about 900 degrees Fahrenheit. That's about as hot as the back of a wood-fired pizza oven. And the pressure is crushing at 90 times what we have on Earth. Plus, it's covered in yellow clouds. And those clouds, those clouds are full of sulfuric acid. So it's acidic and it's hot and it's high pressure. In just a few years, NASA wants to show this evil twin some love. Launching the Da Vinci mission. We're going to be exploring the atmosphere of Venus with a titanium descent sphere. Jada Arney is the deputy principal investigator for NASA's Da Vinci mission, which will bring a probe to Venus, dropping it in a mountainous area twice the size of Texas called Alpha Regio. We've never seen the surface of Venus in the mountains before. The probe is designed to travel through Venus's acidic atmosphere, measuring the chemicals in the air. It's going to be taking pictures with the, one of the highest resolution cameras we've sent to Venus yet and really getting you know, real pictures of these highlands, these tessera, which are some of the oldest surface areas on the planet. The atmosphere is so thick. It'll take us about an hour to fall from the top of the atmosphere down to the surface, but it may not survive the impact. If we do survive, we might get a bonus approximately 17 minutes of science. A spaceship above the planet will beam the photos and data back to Earth, which could help us understand how planets evolve. Even though it's dramatically different from Earth, it may have been more like Earth's twin rather than Earth's evil twin in the distant past. Meaning the mission may not just be a glimpse of our solar sibling, but perhaps our own future. In Austin, Eric Hendrickson, KXAN News.